You're watching KPVI News at 5. KPVI News at 5. News that works for you. The increase of overdose deaths caused by synthetic opioids is at a record high nationwide and here in eastern Idaho. KPVI News that works for you. Journalist Kylie Gibson has been researching this issue locally for the last few weeks. And she joins us now live from the newsroom with more on this crisis. Kylie. Across the country and in Idaho, law enforcement agencies continue to deal with a rise in drug cases and overdoses, specifically fentanyl. This is the first of a three-part series called Fighting Fentanyl. This is something that is gripping our nation uh, across the board. It's something that it's crippling and it's something that it just takes control of you and uh, it's difficult to combat. The fentanyl crisis is increasing significantly in eastern Idaho, with more pills making their way across our borders and the uptick in overdoses happening. The fentanyl crisis in Idaho, frankly, across the Pacific Northwest and the West, it's it's an existential threat to the safety of our of our community, especially uh, children and other casual drug users. Uh, fentanyl is a synthetic opioid that is a hundred times more powerful than morphine. A lethal amount is just two milligrams. Just to put it into perspective, one one hundredth of this standard business card is considered a lethal dose of fentanyl. These synthetic pills are being transported from China to the U.S.-Mexico border, where they are bought for about one dollar and they are making their way to Idaho, where they are charging nearly thirty dollars a pill. Fentanyl, when it was uh, designed uh, as uh, a painkiller, um, they have ways of controlling it at the pharmaceutical level so that they're, they're ensuring the dosage rate. Well, now you have people who are not chemists that are mixing this stuff up in like concrete mixers and putting it in binder agents, and so they're getting way too much fentanyl into each tablet. Counterfeit pills containing fentanyl are often made to look like prescription opioids, such as oxycodone, hydrocodone, or stimulants such as Adderall. These pills are often known on the streets as dirty 30s. Fentanyl increases the potency of these drugs, which makes them more likely to lead to an overdose. When people overdose with fentanyl, it's like holding your breath, but without an end to it. Um, and until we give a reversal medicine called Narcan, uh, people just continue to hold their breath until it, it can actually kill you. Naloxone, better known as Narcan, is a medicine that is designed to reverse opioid overdoses by binding to receptors in the brain that can reverse and block the effects of the opioid. Narcan is now an essential tool that first responders are having to use often. Um, I think uh, on average, I would say we probably have, have to administer Narcan at least every couple days. Okay. Narcan is available at most drug stores, so law enforcement agencies and first responders aren't the only ones who have access to the life-saving drug. It seems like anytime we are in contact with you know, a user, uh, whether it's through traffic stops and searching cars or searching people or the residents, uh, we tend to find kits with Narcan, you know, whether it's in the glove box or the center console in their pockets or anywhere around their house. Just the city of Pocatello alone has seen a significant increase in the amount of fentanyl circulating through the community. In 2019 and 2020, the department seized zero fentanyl pills. Last year, they seized approximately 3,000 pills. And so far this year, they've seized over 10,000 pills. Right now, there's a 30% chance uh, that you could die from taking one pill. So far this year, Bannock County has seen six overdose deaths related to fentanyl. Fentanyl is here, it is present, it is lethal, and if you're not educating those around you, they're at risk. We'll have part two of this series looking at how law enforcement deals with fentanyl in the streets. That's tomorrow on KPVI News at 5. All right. Thank you very much, Kylie.